This week we have made more than 211 pips of profit in the VIP group for signals on Telegram and the good thing here my friends is these profits are actually made on take profit number one only which means thankfully all of the members have actually made this profit and thankfully also we had zero losses as well of course there is a reason for that and allow me to show you as you can see February 6 we couldn't send any, uh, any signal however this week we actually have been relying on depending orders that's the reason you can see many signals has actually uh, has actually been cancelled as you can see right here cancel cancel because they actually are a pending order signals and the signals actually have been uh, activated starting from Wednesday and onwards and as you can see here here are the results from February 8th as you can see take profit number one take profit number one 42 pips and 33 pips cancel um chfgpy 48 pips chfgpy again 72 pips this is the only take profit number two by the way the rest are take profit number one, and as you can see right here, Euro NZD uh, 48 pips of profit. Fantastic, guys. This is the new shape of extreme trader signals. Actually, I should uh, adjust this one right here. Um, this is not actually, there is one take profit number two included here, just to be clear with everyone. So, anyway, guys, this is the new shape of extreme trader signals. It's really so much more uh, profitable than ever. We have listened to your advices. That is what you actually advise us to do, and that is the results of what we are doing right now. The members have actually made profits this week, and I'm sure they are happy with the experience of our signals. So, of course, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below of this video. Contact them today, and hopefully, we will see you there. All right, my friends. So now it's time to take a look at the market and let's see what happened uh, during the last week. As you can see, sadly, uh, the Euro UC signal uh, actually it was going in profit very well before uh, the news hit the market. And I believe uh, the news that Russia has actually uh, lowered their produ pr production of the oil, it might actually have been uh, made an impact on the pair. And that's the reason, of course, we can see that the Euro UC started to fall. So I believe this forward here and the bearish breakout from that support trend line is actually. Uh, due to fundamentals if i'm not mistaken if i'm if you think i'm mistaken please share in the comments and of course before we continue please go, don't don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and of course share the video it really means a lot to me guys if you just hit the like button it will motivate me to give you more videos and more analysis anyway let's now start the weekly analysis and let's now begin with the euro usd so as you can see right here uh, we have to get rid of the old signal it's no longer valid after the strong bearish movement right here uh, on friday so let me just delete the entire old signal and let's see now what we can do next with this pair first of all we have to move to the weekly chart just to see the bigger time frame now look at that the bigger time frame here on the weekly chart shows us a strong rejection right here from the bearish breakout from that level of resistance at 1.0355 uh, 1.10355 sorry and right now we can see right here how the market has made this very strong bearish movement uh starting from this uh, from 1.10355 uh, all the way to 1.06772 where the market has closed friday night dropping for more than 360 pips so actually this means that the euro usd is gonna continue the bearish movement now if we look at the, at the price action right here it's very strong actually uh, telling that it's actually a strong uh, signal telling that the euro usd is going to continue the fall indeed we are having here a strong key support level but that price action right here my friends is actually much stronger than the support level right here that support right here it seems to me like a fake breakout let me just show it to you let me just show you the real level of the support in my, uh, from my uh, point of view that is exactly the real level of the support it lies exactly right there and as you can see, the market has already respected that level of a real support. It became a real level of a resistance. Now, the Euro USD has actually fallen below that level of a real support. Meanwhile, this was actually a fake breakout in my opinion. That's the reason I don't even consider uh, this support. However, if we look right now at the current structure, we can see right here also, of course, a support trend line, which has been uh, broken out from. And that's actually what we have confirmed in the beginning of this video. So based on the weekly chart, everything says that the uh, Euro USD is actually going to continue the fall at least to reach that level of the lowest support right here at 1.04823. Now, if we go to the daily chart, 
the daily chart my friends shows us right here that the market has actually on the on this week actually has made four attempts to break out from that level of a resistance at 1.0720 and if we look at the left side let me just scroll to the left side we can confirm the strength of this level it was indeed a strong key resistance level so we had here multiple attempts and keep in mind i'm on the daily chart so we had here the market actually kept it trying to break out from that level of resistance for more than two weeks before finally made one more attempt uh, um, on November. And then we had here that fake breakout. The market has barely made any attempt of a support and then instantly broke out from that level. Now, the good thing here is that level of a real resistance has also been respected right there. All of that indicates that the market actually has failed to break out from that level of resistance and the pressure is on and most likely right now the euro UST is indeed going to continue the fall and the target has to be at least that level of the support now the question is where exactly we can start shorting the euro UST. now let's move to the four hour time frame so again what i'm telling you we have identified the uh, direction and the take profit level based on the day uh, on the daily chart now we move to the four hour time frame to determine the entry and to do that all we need to do is looking at this bearish uh, structure right here, the bearish uh, 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 breakout, and we have to look at the left side to find the nearest strong key resistance level to that bearish breakout candle. And that, of course, can be seen exactly right there. That is, of course, my friends, the nearest resistance to that bearish breakout candle exactly right there. Just to be sure, it's accurate. Yes, just like there exactly at 1.0716. As you can see, my friends, this was indeed a very strong key resistance level in the past uh, on December and uh, early December as well. And now, as you can see, the Euro USD is actually facing right here a support level at 1.0762, which means the Euro USD has the potential to continue the rise till it reach that level of a previous resistance. And, and afterwards, it's going to continue the fall. Of course, we can confirm this also by using the resistance trend lines and check this out so we had here a resistance trend line which became also a support trend line it became also another real attempt of a resistance trend line multiple attempts that being said if the euro UST is going to be able to make a bullish reversal right here it's going to first of all hit that level of a resistance and also it's going to be facing that resistance trend line all of that together indicates that the euro UST is going to continue the fall now we can actually expect to make 225 pips from the signal meanwhile i don't actually like these unrealistic signals that being said I'm sending you the target to be right here, the nearest strong key support level at 1.0572, which means we're actually aiming to make approximately 140 pips against the safe zone. Shouldn't actually be ranging higher than the, the real level of the resistance right here at 1.0760, which means the safe zone is ranging for about 52 pips against 140 pips for profit. Moving now to the pound UST. So, of course, the um, pound UST also, my friends, was going in profit, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was running in about 40 pips of profit before, uh, unfortunately, goes back right now for about 45 pips of loss. It's now ranging inside of the safe zone. I believe this signal should be now cancelled. Uh, the direction, of course, has changed and we have to follow the market uh, with the new direction. So now let's move to the weekly chart just to confirm our entry if it's valid or not. So right now, my friends, the, U the pound UST, of course, was facing that level of a strong key resistance level at 1.2910. And now it seems to me like after the appearance of this price action, that price action, especially appearing on the weekly chart, it's a very strong indicator that the market will continue the fall. That's actually one of the trusted price actions that you want to find if you want to sell the market. Now, that being said, based on the weekly chart, I think it has been confirmed that the pound UST is going to continue the fall and the target most likely is going to be right here, the absolute lowest level of the support, exactly right there at 1.18640. Now, let's now move to the daily chart. Now, as you can see right here, the daily chart, my friends, shows us here something very interesting. Right there exactly, we have here the real level of, of the resistance exactly at 1.21937 and it was of course a real level of the resistance. The pound USD has actually made an attempt right here to reach that level of a resistance and instantly reverse with that, from that level with a zero drawdowns. That means that this level of a broken support trend line has been uh, retested already. Check this out. Just like that.
So we had here the broken level of a support trend line. We had uh, four attempts of it, and then we have ended up with that bearish breakout candle. And now the market has went up, uh, up all the way and already retested the level of the broken support trend line. And that my here, uh, right here, my friends, is the resistance trend line. Now, however, after the, uh, the retest now, the pound UST is most likely actually going to continue the fall. And if I'm not mistaken, it's going to continue the fall at least to reach that level of a support right there at 1.18983, which means the pound USD still has about 150 pips more to go. The question is where exactly we can start shorting this pair. To find out, let's move to the 4-hour time frame. Right there. So after moving to the 4-hour time frame, I want to show you something, guys, here. And trust me, it's really interesting. Right there exactly we can see a broken level of a support trend line, just like that. Now, look at the candles. That is actually the magic of, of Forex. Now we are having here a support trend line, a fake breakout, support trend line, a support trend line, another support trend line, and then a bearish breakout candle. Now look at the small blue candle right there on the four hour time frame. It means that the market has actually been respecting that level of a support and most likely right now the pound UST is actually going to continue the rise till it retests the broken level of a support trend line and also that level of a resistance which is a resistance number one is most likely going to be respected and the market is ready to create a resistance number two and from that point I believe it's going to ideal it's going to be ideal to start shorting the pound UST. So that being said, let's wait for the market to rise for about 52 pips before we can start shorting it. And that is exactly the point where I want to really to short the pound UST. I think it should be there. Why there? Because on this level, we can see the real level of the resistance. Meanwhile, these two candles right here represents a fake breakout. That's, in my opinion, the, fine, uh, the best way to draw the line. And actually, this support trend line can be adjusted to be like that. Fantastic. So this way we're having a better entry and the market is going to continue rising till it reaches that level of a resistance, which means we have to wait for the pound USD to rise for about um, 40 pips only, not 50 as I said it earlier. However, the take profit level, now I'm going to adjust it to give you a realistic signal and that hopefully everybody is going to achieve. And therefore, that means we're actually aiming 134 pips profit from the signal. Meanwhile, the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging higher than this level of a real resistance right there at 1.21504, which means the safe zone is ranging for about 54 pips against 132 pips of profit. Moving now to the AUD USD. So as you can see, my friends, the AUD USD signal was actually running really well in profit. It went to, uh, for about 61 pips before again the news changed the direction. Now, of course, I'm not blaming the news. I'm just telling you what happened. And this is Forex. We cannot, uh, of course, control the market. And we just have to follow it and go with it, whatever it takes us. So anyway, uh, let's now go to the weekly chart to identify what we can do next with this pair. Now, from the first side, we can see here clearly that the market has actually uh, formed a real level of a resistance at 0 0.745. Check this out. We're having here a real level of a resistance and another real level of the resistance and again, real level of the resistance. And in the middle, we had these one and two fake breakouts. In the case that the AUDUST is actually facing now, now a strong level of a resistance and now actually has no in my opinion, there is no chance for the AUDUSD to rise at all. Most likely right now, the pair is actually going to continue the fall, especially seeing that resistance trend line. And if we check here the channel, we can confirm that this channel is actually valid and the market has been ranging inside of this channel for multiple times. Then we had here one fake breakout from that channel. The market has went up already inside of it. And keep in mind, I'm on the weekly chart. No, the market has went already inside of the channel and check this tail right here. That tail indicates that the market has went down all the way again and respected that channel and reversed exactly at the edge of it. Everything here says that the AUDUSD is actually going to continue the fall and the target eventually going to be right here, that level of a support at uh, 0 0.6360. Uh, that means we have to consider shorting the AUDUSD at the moment. Now moving to the daily chart. Now on the daily chart, now we can see clearly, my friends, that we had here a real level of a resistance exactly right there, right there, at 0 
in the past this has actually been a very strong key resistance level as we can see right here and there i mean almost everywhere we can see a real level of a resistance meanwhile we had of course in the middle a fake breakout and another fake breakout and of course that major fake breakout in my opinion when whatever the market forms a real level of a resistance and then move all the way again above that level and ranging for a quite long time and then goes back again and respects the same level of a resistance or a real level of a resistance in my opinion this entire structure is a fake breakout that's the way i'm seeing the market and that's the way i'm actually doing my analysis now moving to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame we can see clearly right here my friends that this level of a resistance has been respected over and over as you can see it was a real level of a resistance uh, over the time uh, of course it was also a real level of a support and that being said i believe the market right now is actually facing a support zone right here exactly right there at 0 0.96182 and the AUD UST is most likely going to be able to make one more pullback for about 28 pips before it can uh, before it start actually the bearish journey that being said uh, we are going to start shorting the AUD UST exactly from that point of course it was also a resistance trend line as we can see right here so that level of a resistance trend line has been respected it became a support trend line for only one attempt before the market made the bearish breakout from that level and again we have here one and two and three fake breakouts then the same level of a resistance my friends has also been respected again and now the market is going to continue the fall now to find the the, uh, the right take profit level it's important to draw here a support trend line just like that and that means that the market is actually going to continue the fall till it reach at least that level of a previous resistance in my opinion right there exactly let me just look at the left side yes uh right there right there that was of course the nearest support to our entry and that was of course the real level of the resistance right there and right here so meaning that's gonna be our take profit level which means we will be aiming 125 pips profit from the signal meanwhile the safe zone is gonna be ranging till the absolute highest level of the current resistance as 0 0.70076 which means the safe zone is ranging for about 62 pips against 124 as take profit let's now move to the usd cad all right so the usd cad signal has actually worked as you can see the market has been ranging inside of the safe zone uh, for about 43 pips before finally ended up in profit with more than 84 pips of profit i hope you guys have taken the signal and enjoyed these profits however let's see now what we can do next with the usd cad now i want to show you something interesting on the uh, weekly chart let me just show you something what i'm going to do it is draw a support trend line from the absolute lowest low uh from here from, from this lowest low all the way uh to this higher high just like that higher low sorry now check this out right here we are having a real level of a support trend line guys keep in mind i'm on the weekly chart and that support trend line is actually um it's actually valid since more than two years as you can see the market has actually been respecting that level of a support trend line over the time many times actually <clears throat> now we can see here the market has actually formed one and two and three fake breakouts but eventually the market is still respecting that level of a real support trend line that's really interesting and right now the market is actually facing a broken level of a resistance just right there exactly right there that being said i believe that the a uh, the usd cad is actually going to continue the rise i don't see the usd cad actually falling at the moment uh right now we're having of course this very strong key support level exactly right there that is of course my friends let me just scroll to the left and show it to you right here we're having a real level of a support level it because uh, it, uh, it became also a strong real level of a resistance and now the usd cad has actually been ranging inside of that uh, previous support zone and recently is like that now let me just show you something here if i zoom in to show it to you uh let's go to the daily chart to see it now what we can see right here my friends is a real level of a support and then we have here one fake breakout now after that strong bullish breakout candle the usd cad seems like it's going to continue the fall till it reach that level of a support and i believe from that point we can start buying the usd cad targeting the same level of that resistance at 1.34910 now we have to consider 
that we're having here of course on the weekly chart a support trend line now what we can do right now is actually draw it on uh, sorry based on the weekly chart sorry the daily chart what's wrong with me the weekly chart now what we can do right here is simply like that let's take the absolute lowest levels on this structure just to be safe and make sure that we will end up with a decent entry now this is what i'm, I'm looking for Right here, we can see that the market has actually formed a support trend line, a support trend line. Then these two candles right here represents a fake breakout. Now we can start buying the USD CAD exactly once the market falls again, retesting the same level of a support trend line. Now moving to the four hour time frame, that can be seen exactly right there, my friends. That is, of course, the absolute lowest level of the real support exactly at 1.33218. And most likely the USD CAD is going to continue the fall, I think for about 28 pips maybe. 24 pips before we can start buying this pair and <clears throat> from that point we can start buying the the usd cad now of course if you want to uh, find another way to confirm this is by just simply draw here a support trend line just from this lower low all the way like that that's another way to confirm this entry if you wish to if you don't trust my analysis just look at that we are having here that very strong actually if i expand it even a little bit a uh, little bit more just like that that makes it even more, uh, more better actually now we are having here that support trend line and the market seems like it's actually climbing its way toward that support trend line and eventually going to respect uh, the level of a previous support right here and after that is going to continue the rise so that being said uh, and to have a safe entry and a safe take profit level is the take profit level is going to be placed exactly at the highest level of the resistance at 1.34730 where the market has originally reversed from and that means we're actually aiming to make approximately 153 pips profit from the signal uh, meanwhile the safe zone is going to be ranging just till the absolute lowest level of a real support at 1.32663 which means the safe zone is ranging for about 54 pips against 150 pips of profit. I just changed the entry to be the absolute lowest level of real support right here at 1.331 uh, which is the nearest one to the bullish breakout candle. That is, of course, to give you the uh, safest entry, my friends, and of course, to be sure that everybody is going to be in profit and hopefully the signal is going to reverse with the zero drawdowns. Now, as you can see right here, this is the nearest strong key support level to that bullish uh, uh, breakout candle, and the, ca the market seems like it's going to continue the fall till it reaches that level of a support and, of course, reverse upon the pressure from the support trend line. That being said, uh, the uh, safe zone will be ranging for about 45 pips against 160 pips of profit. So that's everything for the USD CAD. Let's now move to the USD GPY. All right, so the USD GPY signal was one perfect signal. As you can see, the market has been ranging inside of the safe zone for about 50 pips before finally reverse and go back all the way, hit the take profit level, making more than 150 pips. I hope you guys have taken the signal and enjoyed these profits. Now we have only one problem. You are in about 23 minutes and you are yet to hit the like button. And that is something I don't like. Guys, if you don't mind, please uh, take your time now to hit the like button. Um, otherwise, we might have to stop the video. Thank you for hitting the like button and let's now continue the analysis. And let's now begin with the USDGPY. So right now we can see right here on the weekly chart, the USDGPY eventually has actually been respecting that level of a support, the real level of a support at 130.327. Now, as I told you before, the market is going to reverse upon the pressure from that resistance and it's going to continue the fall till it reached that level of a support. That's the reason this was actually my take profit level. Now, I believe it's going to be safe to start buying the USDGPY after reversing upon the pressure from that support at 130.327. And actually, the last candle appeared right here uh, on the last week uh, shows us here, my friends, uh, a, uh, a respecting of that level of a support. And that long tail right here represents, of course, the pressure from uh, that support. So now moving to the daily chart. Check this out. For the entire week, the USGPY has actually been ranging on, uh, on the same level of that support. It actually made multiple attempts to break out from that level of a support. However, it has always failed. And that's the reason we have to consider buying the USGPY at that moment. 
however buying right now is not gonna be ideal because we have to wait for the market to fall for about 100 pips and that is not good so therefore we have to look at the smaller time frame to find the exact the exact good entry that we are seeking now if i'm not mistaken and really hopefully i'm not we are having here that support trend line and check this out right here pay attention so what we're having right here my friends is a support trend line which has been respected over the time then uh, we are actually having here a fake breakout number one and another fake breakout not actually a fake breakout sorry this was the fake breakout and this was a bearish breakout and here we are having a resistance trend line these tails or these wicks sorry they actually represents a real level of a resistance trend line which has been followed later with that bullish breakout candle indicates that if the market is gonna give up upon the pressure from the resistance right here it's gonna make another pullback and that that level of a support trend line is most likely going to be respected and the USGPY is going to continue the rise. That being said, we have to wait for the USGPY to fall for about 24 pips before we can start buying it. Now we need to find a strong support level on the left side to confirm this theory. Now as you can see right here, exactly right there, we're having that level of a strong support level, which was of course a real level of a resistance and a real level of a resistance. And recently it was of course a real level of a resistance as well. That being said, if I'm not mistaken guys, uh, we can start buying the USGPY exactly at 131.178. And the target, of course, is got to be placed right here, at least at the nearest strong key level of a resistance at 132.281, which means we're aiming approximately 109 pips profit from the signal. Meanwhile, the safe zone should be, shouldn't be ranging lower than the real level of, you know something, guys? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm on the one hour time frame. Yeah, that's better. That's going to be our take profit level exactly, just like that. Fantastic. So the take profit level is going to be placed at the absolute highest level of a real level of a resistance right here at 132.742 and the safe zone is going to be ranging till 130.448 which means uh, the safe zone is ranging for about 47 pips 45 pips sorry 75 pips sorry 75 pips uh, against 156 pips of profits. Let's now move to the UCCHF. All right, so unfortunately, guys, the UCCHF signal actually was running in a good profit of about uh, 60 pips, I would say, before reverses back and goes against our direction. Unfortunately, these things can happen. And now let's see uh, what we can do next uh, in this market. Now, let's move to the weekly chart just to confirm what we can do exactly with the UCCHF. So what we can see right here, first thing is, of course, that level of a strong key support level exactly at one, uh, sorry, 0 0.92358. Now, the only problem here, guys, this right here, that's actually a lot of ranging inside of that level. That's a lot of consolidation in that level of our previous support. So right now we can see that is actually what I really hate to see. That's why I really despite the UCCHF. I mean, look at that level of a support. It has been respected, uh, I mean, respected uh, perfectly. And then recently we're having here, um, the market has indeed respected that level of a previous support, but the problem, it has been ranging inside of it for so long. I mean, keep in mind, I'm on the weekly chart. If I see this on the daily chart, I'm going to vomit. I mean, that is just so much. I mean, you cannot really find a decent entry at this level right here. That is just too much. I mean, let's let, let's just for the sake of me, let's just look at it at the four hour time frame. Check this out. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. That's really ugly market. That's what I really don't like to see at all. You really don't want to trade in such market. That's disgusting. Oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, we have found the decent entry. We have found the good support. But the problem is that's a lot of ranging on that level. So it's not possible of course to have a zero drawdown so when uh, we are buying or selling the uccchf the market my friends is going to be ranging eventually no matter what you do the market um is acting at, as it wants and we cannot of course change that so anyway uh based on the uh weekly chart we can see clearly that we're having here a strong key support level and that's of course the level where we want to start buying the uccchf the market seems like it's going to be eventually respect that level of a support now, that being said, let's now move to the daily chart. Now, on the daily chart, 
we have to look at the real level of a support and the fake attempts and right here exactly we can see that the market has already formed a real level of a support as 0 0.91598 now most likely after the appearance of that fake breakout now pay attention eventually what we're having right here is what we can see right here is a head uh, inverted head and shoulders which indicates that the UCCHF is right now ready for a bullish rally now that being said the UCCHF of course not gonna fall for about uh, 80 pips we have to find a good entry now the daily chart here shows us that the market will continue the rise now the question is can we find the good entry well to answer that let's go to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame what I'm going to do is simply use the support trend lines to find the good entry and that can be found actually not from this point let's start from this point right here all the way just like that I want to be sure that my um, analysis is correct and it should be fine I mean I just showed you guys that the UCCHF is really ranging a lot and you have to expect it to be in loss before finally ended up in profit that being said and from my technical view we're having here that support trend line which has faced of course a breakout and we had here one single attempt of a resistance trend line and that was the only attempt of it and then the market has instantly broke out from that support uh, resistance trend line and created here another support trend line then followed it later with one and two fake breakouts eventually that level of a support trend line has also been respected right here which means we have to wait for the UCCHF to fall again and respects that level of a support trend line now if we look at the left side of course however we can find it clearly right here at 0 0.92 triple, triple one uh, we are having here of course a real level of a support as well real level of the support it was of course the strongest level of the support right here so this level has been respected multiple times that being said let's wait for the UCCHF to fall for about 24, uh, 24 pips before we can start buying it and if we do that the take profit level is going to be placed right here at the nearest strong real level of the resistance meanwhile of course we had here a fake breakout number one and the fake breakout number two that being said that's going to be my friends our target and that means we can actually expect to make approximately 120 pips of profit meanwhile the safe zone shouldn't be ranging lower than this level of a real support right here at 0 0.91535 which means uh, the safe zone is going to be ranging for about uh, 57 pips against 120 pips of profit let's now move to the gold all right so of course the gold signal i think it was almost a perfect signal i mean guys check this out you have to give it to me the market has reversed exactly at that resistance trend line just like i think come on guys like just 11 pips far away from the entry no i'm gonna claim this signal and i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna say it has worked it has been activated the market has reversed for about 300 pips of profit the market has reversed almost almost exactly from what i mentioned to start selling come on guys have mercy on my soul <laughs> anyway let's see now what we can do next with the gold now what's wrong okay let me just delete the old signal what's wrong okay uh, moving to the weekly chart now the weekly chart my friends shows us here a strong price action indicates that the market is indeed going to continue the fall now the gold in my opinion cannot actually hold the position um, actually with there is there is absolutely not a single strong key support level that we can rely on to say that the gold is going to continue rising now keep in mind I'm on the weekly chart and the first thing I can see right here is that level of a real resistance at uh, 1876.75 now i want to show you some, something on the daily chart now on the daily chart if we draw here that resistance trend line from this higher high all the way to this lower high and just simply clone the very same resistance trend line and just place it right here at that level of a resistance trend line what can we see we can see right here that the gold has indeed respected that level of a resistance trend line also it has been respecting the real level of the resistance right there exactly at 1876.75 now if we look at the left side of course we can see clearly that this was my friends a very strong key level of resistance it was also right here another strong key level of resistance so as you can see if you track the history of this level it has always been a very strong uh, real level of resistance and right now what we can see right here is simply the first attempt of the resistance for the entire last week 
the gold has actually been trying to break out from that level of resistance i mean check this out i mean track the candles so we started with a big candle and then a similar candle and a smaller blue candle then on uh, thursday once one big bar actually overpassed the entire three candles the entire previous three candles that tells you that the bearish movement right here is very strong now what we can actually this one okay no need to, to mention that now let's just move to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame we can see that the gold has indeed reversed on that level of a support at 1860.55 now most likely the gold is gonna make one pullback and most likely it's gonna be good to be short exactly let me just be sure exactly right there yes as 1876.75 that's gonna be the level where we can start shorting the gold however if we do that the target is going to be right here the nearest strong key support level exactly at 1833.31 which means we're actually going to be aiming approximately 400 426 pips of profit meanwhile the safe zone should not actually be ranging higher than this level of a previous support right here exactly at 1896.95 which means the safe zone is ranging for about 200 pips against 433 pips of profit and there goes your signal my friends for the gold and for the EUC pairs for the upcoming week hopefully guys it's gonna be a very profitable one and hopefully you guys will enjoy making profits with these signals of course i have to remind everyone to maintain a good uh, money management plan and keep in mind just because these signals came from extreme trader doesn't mean at all it's gonna be 100 percent profitable it actually might be might go wrong and for that reason we are having the midweek and the late week and friday analysis videos to make sure that you guys are gonna end up in a good profit and by the way while we are talking as we are speaking i just noticed this as we were speaking <laughs> so we are having here that support trend line on the gold and that th that was the bearish breakout from that level therefore it's really gonna be good idea to start selling exactly right here when the market creates the resistance trend line number one fantastic i just saw this actually i didn't see it when i was analyzing the gold interesting anyway guys again uh don't give don't don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and of course share the video and also don't forget to check out our vip signals on telegram we are doing really so well since the beginning of this year the clients are thankfully happy and enjoying the experience and hopefully they will end up in profit as they have done always hopefully so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.